What's up guys, my name is Clément and I'm beyond excited to introduce to you our brand new vocal engine, LAT Sleep. Alitis Loop is a modern vocal hook generator that lets you create melodies and vocal loops in a matter of seconds. The instrument features more than 450 unique vocals as well as 300 presets. It is compatible with any major DAW either on Mac or PC and doesn't require any add-on. In this video I'm going to explain all the different features of the instrument as well as some workflow tips you can use on your productions. Alright, so the first and easiest way of using this instrument is is what I called vocal kits. Vocal kits are essentially a selection of 16 different cohesive sounding vocal chops that are put together here within the circle. Each color represents a unique vocal sample and you can easily listen to them by clicking on the different notes here on this bottom keyboard. Now, if you want to change vocal kits, simply click here on the preset name and it will open up the preset page. Select a vocal kit and click on it to load the samples. Now for this video, I imported a bunch of stems from a contact instrument of ours called Prism Retro Pop Drums. This song was actually composed by my good friend Corral Posoda and sounded just perfect for this demo video. Once I chose a vocal kit I wanted to work with, I selected a key of the song by clicking on this top left drop down menu. Selecting a key will automatically pitch all the samples within the circle to match the key of the song you're working with. So I went ahead and wrote this quick melody using the Dirty Yoey vocal kit and this is how it sounds like. On the left side, you'll see a tone slider that essentially applies a low pass filter to your vocal kit. On the right side, a reverb slider that adds a beautiful plate reverb to the vocals. Now if you click on the different samples, it will open up the advanced page where you'll be able to select the in and out of your sample. You'll be able to adjust the pitch. Reverse the sample, loop it. And if you want the loop to match your project tempo, simply select the length you want the sample to loop for and hit the apply button. You'll see that the in and out position of the sample changed accordingly. If you want to change the sample you're working with, you can easily do that and browse through this left section and click on the different sound categories to refine your search. For example, if I'm looking for a cinematic distorted sound, I click on the cinematic tag as well as the distorted tag and the results will appear below. Then simply click on a sound to replace the previous one. You can also quickly browse through uh, sounds by clicking the previous or next arrow right here. Next, we have our effects section on the right side of the page and you can simply click on the effects to open up the parameters. Of course, you can bypass them by clicking on this button here on the right side of the effects. The FX chain features six different effects optimized for vocal processing, including EQ, saturation, spatializer, compressor, formant, and delay. The second way of using this instrument is what I call loop mode. Okay, this is a very exciting part because this big circle in the middle now becomes a loop and plays all the samples sequentially. If you come back to the preset page, you'll see a loop folder. This contains more than 250 pre-assembled loops that you can instantly use on your project. 
my project is 100 BPM, so I'll select the medium folder and find a loop that fits. All of the loops are tempo synced and highly customizable, so I could also pick loops from the other folders and it should work as well. Okay, let's try this one. To preview the loop, simply click on this play button here. Sounds good. Now let's put it on the key. And in order to play the loop with the song, I'll create a MIDI item and draw a four bar note on C4. Now the loop will automatically play when the C4 is held, but you can also hold the key on your MIDI keyboard while playing the song. Okay, let's hear how it sounds like. Not bad, but let's change a few notes from that melody. Add a little more delay. Love it. Let's quickly try another loop to see how it sounds like. Also, I quickly wanted to mention that you can use the loops within the inspiration starter folder to spark some ideas. Um, you'll see the BPM and the key of the loop, so you can easily start building on them. Coming back to our loops, let's try Heart Sick Goodbye. <laughs> You can also select the length of the loop right here on the bottom right. This will directly make the loop faster or slower. And if you're not happy with the rhythm of the loop, you can entirely change it by extending the length of the segments. To do that, simply click and hold the end of the segment and drag it to whatever length you want. You can also shrink it by going the opposite way. And move it by clicking and dragging the segments wherever you want. To remove a segment from the loop, click on it and drag it out. If you want to add a new segment, click and drag a new segment from this icon right here and drop it in between two notes. There's also a really cool feature if you want to change the rhythm of the loop, which is the randomize button. Simply click on the randomize button right here to generate a new pattern. This will also randomize the reverse button on the samples as well as the loop function. Okay, so the third and last way of using this instrument is what I called note kits. Note kits are simply vocal samples that are spread across one octave so that you can quickly create lead melodies. Head over to the preset page, select a note kit you like and write a melody.
Now, if you want to try the instrument, click the link in the description of this video to download a free demo. This will let you use the instrument for a limited period of time so you can discover all the instrument features. Thanks a lot for watching and if you have any questions, please send us an email at support at